Attention all filmmakers. You have short films or full features without a district. Come to www.fhffsd.org. That is the fantastic horror film festival. So hurry up. Submit now. Do you need key art poster for your horror project? Do you have a limited budget and about to hit the festival circuit? Are you looking for distribution and need visual art to help the process? Well, you're in luck. Go to www.posterlabworks.com and contact them for more information. They'll work with your budget and provide you some great key art. If you mention Gruesome Herzog when you contact them, they will include art for matching postcards and along with the poster. Contact them now. Chupacabra versus the Alamo in 2013. San Antonio, Texas. The bodies of various drug cartel members are turning up mangled and drained of blood. Directed by Terry Ingram. Written by Peter Sullivan and Jeffrey Shanek. Released March 23, 2013. Mythical monsters force new last stand at the Old Alamo. Here's the cast. Eric Estrada as Carlos Seguin. Julia Benson as Tracy Taylor. Jorge Vargas as Tommy Segan. And the cast goes on. Now, I just reviewed the Mega Shark vs. Mecha Shark. Now here's a sci-fi channel movie. Chupacabra vs. the Alamo in 2013. Now, what was really interesting about this film one eric estrada the days of chips on a motorcycle so you can tell that they threw back the old chips thing with him riding a motorcycle through the movie but one thing that bugged me the most and i know it's a movie but did they have to use the fake background as he's riding a motorcycle at certain points of the film I know it's petty but it really annoyed me other than that I wanted to see this because I like the versus movies and I like the myth of the chupacabra um, a goat like dog like animal that sucks blood yes it's all computer generated as far as these creatures but it is what it is it's a sci-fi channel get over it this film I liked. Um, there's a lot of cheese in this film. There's a lot of um, wiki points in this film. But you know what you're getting yourself into when you watch these films. So I already know. And again, I mentioned that I love these types of films. Any kind of a creature that's crocodile, alligator, shark, you name it. I love this kind of stuff. So you have Eric Estrada playing this cop. And his son is this in his gang or whatever and it starts off in a movie where there's a tunnel that goes from Mexico to Texas and these drug cartel are in this cave type tunnel thing and they get mauled by these chupacabra of course no one believes it because it's just a myth but then the town starts believing it and then Eric Estrada goes into action as the hero um, again it, they are what they are um, nothing special. It is what it is. I mean, no masterpiece, but it was entertaining and fun. And I must admit again, my grandkids love this film, especially my youngest one. Um, he wanted to see it. I said, sure, let's, let's just check it out. And again, you can tell that they're computer generated, obviously, but the, but to me it doesn't matter. It's still creepy to a point to where... Um, you know, these things are so quick. They terrorize this town. And it ends up at the old Alamo Museum. And that's where the title comes from. It's, you know, it's not like it's back in the Alamo days, of course. But it was cool. I, I, I like the, the, the humor. I like the um, cheesiness of it. So again, it is what it is. Chupacabra versus the Alamo in 2013. It's not the greatest... But I liked it better than the Mega Shark versus Mecha Shark. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 5.5 out of 10, slightly above average. You know, again, they are what they are. 
This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.